sometimes you just have to look at something a little bit differently and you can double or triple the results you get in your life. Now, one of the ways that's dramatically changed the results I've gotten is the way I think through using the lens of traditional Chinese medicine. Now, in this video, I want to share three of the habits that I started implementing in my life based on traditional Chinese medical theory that can dramatically, and for me, did dramatically change the way I think about problems in my life, not just related to health and wellness. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book Master of the Day. So the first link below is for a free PDF on five daily rituals that can possibly add 10 years to your life with traditional Chinese medicine. So you can check it out right there, the first link in the description. So the first habit here is to look for patterns and not symptoms. It's crazy because so often when we have two symptoms, let's say we get reflux and we get insomnia. For so many of us, we treat them as separate things. But what if they aren't separate things? So this pattern has helped me quite a lot because it's tempting to think, okay, insomnia, I'm using my phone, I'm working too hard, drinking coffee, okay, reflux, you know, I'm eating too much spicy food and fried food. But when you look at the commonality and you say, what's the relationship between the two things? Then you look at that and you realize, wow, you know, three of the nights last week where I had reflux from eating at 8.30 at night, I actually had insomnia and really weird sleep and vivid dreaming and I didn't feel well the next day. That was really interesting. What's that all about? Because the thing is, when you look at the commonalities, you really begin to see the patterns. It would be like trying to understand all the random things in nature, like why is there a tiger in this specific biome and these other animals in this biome and these trees and this kind of weather pattern. Looking at those individually makes no sense. But when you look at them, the relationship, you realize, oh, now I see there's this plant, which is why there's so much of this animal that eats this plant. And oh, this plant is here because of this weather pattern local to this part of the earth. That makes a lot of sense. It produces a really deep understanding. The second habit is to look what's behind the symptoms of your life. Now, in Chinese medicine, there's this theory that behind manifestation of symptoms is a non-material, some people call it energetic pattern, but there's a physiological pattern that's been changed in a negative way that precedes the development of physical illness. So either structural illness, you know, whether that is like a tumor, dramatic example, or something else that's just functional like insomnia, indigestion, etc. But behind it, there's some kind of physiological pattern that's disrupted for often a long time before it becomes a structural issue. So looking at the pattern we talked about and now looking at what's behind the scenes, you could look at this as anything in your life. You could look at this from the lens of dating. You know, we say, oh, I always date the wrong person. I always date like messed up people or I always date men who don't treat me well or I always date that unavailable person that's working too many hours or I always date the person who's just, eh, like I just, they're an addict and they just need to get their life together and they're just struggling perpetually. We look at the external but we need to look at what's behind the scenes. What's behind the scenes? Why am I going after that? Or why am I tolerating that? Or why am I not getting those internal red flags that something is off here? What is it internally? Now, maybe that's psychological. Maybe it's something with trauma and childhood modeling your parents' relationship that wasn't healthy. Whatever it is, look at behind the scenes to see what has been creating this pattern in your life. Now, it could be health. It could be relationships, it could be finances, or something else. So the third habit is when things aren't working in your life, stop pushing and step back. When I first got one of my acupuncture appointments, uh, it was interesting because I had one, some of the muscles in my body were really, really tense. And I was afraid that, you know, when the acupuncturist was needling it, they were just going to keep like drilling at it to try to get it to release or something. But they didn't. This acupuncturist put the needle in and then felt that tension and just stopped. Sometimes he would leave it and come back. Sometimes he would just gently stimulate it until it loosened. And sometimes he just left it. Well, TCM is based on theory around observing the natural laws of the universe. And what that means is that just like in nature, you know, animals are really aware of conserving their energy. Animals do not expend excessive energy because energy is absolutely vital to survival. If you're exhausted, another animal could come eat you. 
So, in that sense, animals, when they're tired, they just rest. When they're hungry, they eat. When they need to pee, they pee. They're very, very simple. But they're strongly aligned with the base principles of evolution, which is conserve your energy. They don't force things repeatedly over and over if it's not working. They do what they need to survive. Sometimes that's giving every last ounce of energy. Sometimes that's conserving every last ounce of energy. And so in life, in the same way, sometimes there are problems that we push, 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 but we're not getting any results. Maybe it is fitness and our weight. Maybe it is trying to build a business and things aren't happening. Maybe it's trying to make leeway in our career. Or maybe it's trying to fix our love life. And sometimes we push, 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 pedal to the metal, we're pounding away, but we're not getting the results we want. And it's in those times where we have to step back and observe and see, is there another way to go about reaching the same result? Because pushing, in a sense, only will damage us further. There are so many things that cannot be fixed by harder work and pushing. And I think that makes human beings very uncomfortable because that means there are other things out of our control or that we need more flexibility in figuring out how to reach that same goal. So I hope that helps. These are three philosophical changes, habit changes, that really affected my life. Now, of course, if you want to stay in touch, grab the free download there below, Five Daily Rituals That Can Add 10 Years to Your Life with Chinese Medicine, and then come check out my last related video right there and right now.